the number of people that have SAG papers right now are worried of their one line in the movie. It was like, they should Stop. be. You know what I mean? It was like, yeah. whoa. Because right now, here's you said, Jeff, you don't know about, a lot about what's going on. I don't know a, a ton of it. I didn't realize that they started picketing as of yesterday. Like, They've I didn't been know picketing. How. They're picketing. Uh, they've all quit. Every show, everything is shut down. No Saturday Night Live. No Stephen Colbert. That's all over. Nothing. I always felt like anytime there's a writer's strike, those were the first hits. Yeah, the live shows are right every week. Yeah. yeah. I figure they were it, but it's obviously going to affect a lot more than just that, right? Because I was going to ask you, how does this affect any writer room, writer's rooms that are in progress? They're done. They're closed. Right? They just close up shop? Yeah. There's not, nothing's going on but non-union shows. What's going on right now? What's going on right now, Jeff, is a situation you're probably familiar with. It's just like it's a bunch of dudes in suits and like those those shiny polos that are like stretchy. <laughs> a bunch of dudes like that in boardrooms being like, okay, well, why don't we just like make old scripts we own? Oh, hey, yeah. What did you, you shoot today? Just, I shot a 72 and then I killed four. <laughs> Why don't we just type four shows? Why don't we just type right Ant Man three into Chat GPT and see what it comes up with? <sighs> Holy crap, dude! You're right. That's this a, is the first time in history that you don't have to get a scab to write. Or, or although Kevin Feige call us, we got a really good idea for Ant Man four. <laughs> but anyway, just saying, you can get AI to replace these writers. That's what that's what's going on right now. So I think wow. <laughs> right because look. And I think I've heard the my, the that one of the big folks that doesn't want to negotiate with the writers is Netflix, because Netflix does not. That that's one of the things they're striking over is like writers want residuals for streaming shows because right now there's no system to get oh, paid wow. for residuals for streaming shows. Mm-hmm. Nobody even knows how much streaming shows get even watched. Yeah, nobody right, knows they if still people watch ratings, them. right? Yeah, they don't release ratings. Netflix just puts out a congrat. They you know they send themselves a basket of cookies. It's like <laughs> Stranger Things got a million hours of watching. <laughs> Did you get the cookies? Did you get the basket of cookies. They get these tiff treats <laughs> and they send upset. it to everybody in the company. And it's just like, good job, everybody. Or then, did did it? I don't. What is it? If it did, how would we know? If it did, how does that affect anything? <laughs> because it's not like people are like, well, I got to watch Stranger Things. Everybody's like, well, I already have Netflix, so maybe I'll watch part of Stranger Things and forget about it. Or we reach out to Tiff Streets and say, hey, we'd love to shoot a show with you <laughs> and get you on Netflix and get free warm cookies. Stranger Treats. Yes, Stranger- <laughs> there it is. But like Ooh, the writers want a residuals. Tank, they want residuals think tank. from this money that Netflix collects every week. It's like tw- every month. Every month, half the world puts twenty dollars in their bank account. Boom, right half the globe. Dude. Right. So, like, yeah. writers are just like, "Well, I mean, we write the shows you got, so we should get some money." And Netflix is like, "No, no, you're not. <laughs> you, it's not for anything you did. It's just the twenty dollars we get from everybody a month." So there's this like whole new. It's a whole new thing. Mm. People didn't know when when tapes came out. They were like. How do we how do we make money off tapes? It took a while to figure it out. So now it's going to take a while to figure this out. <clears throat> and dude, that was what we were talking about with uh, the movie Tetris. Is the whole thing of they didn't there was no such thing as handheld. So those subtle little things of changing formats and that not be written into the language. That's where you get screwed. That's where Jesse the Body yeah. went to war with Vince McMahon, right? Exactly. Because it's like Colise- Coliseum Video is using my voice, okay? And that was just like he and he won. Yeah, but. Yeah. He sued them directly. There was no strike He because there was no union. So yeah. right now, there's no strike. There's no Saturday Night Live. There's no Jimmy Fallon. There's no anything. Everything's off. All the movies that were in progress are off. <laughs> I'm okay with Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> I'm okay with everything. I'm kind of okay with everything stopping because I feel like there's a lot of content yeah. at the moment. Yeah. But like it, in like six months or a year, it's going to be like, oh, there's like nothing coming out. Why is that? Oh, because the writers were on strike. And that... Is when Dos Incredibles rises, <laughs> takes over everything. Like a phoenix from the ashes. Well, it's more like a pigeon from a pole, but you know, <laughs> yeah. you get the idea. Everyone loves a success story. Come on, guys. <laughs> but it's funny you're talking about with uh, Jimmy Fallon, and I, I'm going to pivot to this. I was trying to explain to my son, because he thinks they're just like the, all those late night guys are just they look the same they're not funny and they're interchangeable and i was thinking wow just two of those guys alone right jimmy you know kimmel 
came from the man show which you probably couldn't even make then yeah. and i was trying to explain to him i was like no jack you don't understand in the 90s jimmy fallon was like pete davidson is now yeah it's true <laughs> and he's like no he was not right. yeah. 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 i remember seeing night, him though. at a blink 182 jimmy- <laughs> he was at a blink 182 concert stoned out of his brains with two troll dolls jumping around on stage going like this yeah, yeah. i was it's like and that was jimmy and he's like you don't do that anymore with kim <laughs> going oh my god i can't believe i married him <laughs> her nails go but yeah I, I i i haven't watched any of those late shows in a while i do watch some of the clips like they had alexa bliss and the miz and they did like a karaoke contest where if you killed the song the other people that you were against got like water sprayed in their face or, oh yeah, that one. Yeah, so I don't know if it's, but it was a little bit of a take. That old Parker Brothers game. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if it was killer carrot, but now it makes sense because they had no writers. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we don't need to write the bit. Yeah, it but, was. It was. Yeah, that show. What? Yeah, not name that tune, but it's something like. Yeah, you have to sing the song, and I, I tried to watch it. Oh, are you faster than Shazam? Uh, I tried that one also. No. Yeah. I remember I named that tune, but it was just always with a piano. And it would be like, yeah. Bing. I can name that tune in one note. What? Yeah. <laughs> I have a friend that was on, on that show. and Really? She went to Ireland and went to like some finale championship. And what? Like did very well. Man. Like, it, was, it was pretty cool. We can't even, where do we get reference people to go watch shows like this anymore? Because is the Game Show Network even a thing anymore? It is. It, it is. is? I think yeah. it's called Buzzer now. Oh, Buzzer? Yeah. It's regulated. Go watch, name that tune. Go watch Bowling for Dollars. Yeah. <laughs> bowling, yeah. It's like, what, that was a game show? Yeah, you just bowled, and if you won, they gave you money. That like, doesn't that seem just, like a game show. <laughs> is it just gambling? That's just, that's just gambling. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Gambling for dollars. <laughs> and we just watched it every week. That sounds like Friday night. <laughs> like, this is great. We're just watching people bowl for money. <laughs> it's our new weekly game show called Poker. <laughs> <laughs> honey, honey, are we, are we bowling tonight? Yes. <laughs> hey, you're lucky. We're bowling tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 20 on me. Uh, but, <clears throat> you know, back on the writer's strike, how this is going to shut some down. Like, if they have enough scripts, like I read House of the Dragon plans on filming through the writer's strikes, that means you're just going to have to go with what you got. No rewrites on set. You're just going to have to go with what's on the paper. Right? Yawn House of the Dragon. I'm just going to say it. I've said it there. You're what? Yawn. Oh, you, no, no moss? <clears throat> no. <laughs> Yawner. Booty. <laughs> so they're going to have to shoot the script so. as is. Yeah, there's no changes. They can't even like, because you usually have the writer on set and be like, this line's stupid. Write another line, writer. <laughs> 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 Write another line, nerd. <laughs> You're the director. You don't tell me what to do. Actually, I need to because this line sucks. <laughs> it's like all the jocks beat up the writer and just, just like, you write this other line. Yes. <laughs> we can't say this. It's stupid. Why'd you write this? <laughs> write something less stupid, please. I'll be in my Ferrari till you're done. <laughs> you didn't even spell stupid right. It's not two O's. <laughs> so now they're just going to have to get, but you know what's going to happen? They're going to type it into ChatGPT. <laughs> ChatGPT, can you write a better piece of dialogue than this line of dialogue? Dude, that's what I mean. This and it's just going to be like, you know, <laughs> gotcha, suckers. 48. And they'll type that into GPT, and it'll be like, you know, whatever. <laughs> this is the first time in history, right, that, again, they can use technology against them. Exactly. And I don't think they've ever had this before. No, they haven't had. Bef- the last time there was a writer's strike, there wasn't even Twitter. Oh, Wow. This is this is a different. Have level. you have you guys either one of you subscribed to ChatGPT to see what it can do? Yeah, I have. Did yeah, I use it at work all the time. Oh, oh really? It scares the crap out of me. I just ask it a question, <laughs> anything, anything that, that I'm thinking of. I literally <laughs> typed in. Really, uh, typed in. Yeah, Chat GPT because I just need it. I need a second opinion. It's <laughs> and it gives you a second opinion. I mean, like, it's better than Google. It's better than Google. Yeah. Google's yeah. got to be sweating chat GPT at all, right? Because that's the new... Service. They're sweating everything. They're sweating yeah. that and they're sweating TikTok. I'm an analog guy, so I use my Magic 8-Ball. Yeah. You know. I usually just put a the letter in a chat bottle GPT. and throw it into the ocean. No. <laughs> Wait 40 years for a response. <laughs> but no, you, you sign up for it. You can ask it. And it's just like, imagine if you had Google, right? But, like, instead of, you know, you ask Google a very specific question, like, how do I change the oil on my 54 Chevy? You get a bunch of, you get a bunch of nonsense. Yeah. 
Here's this place that sells auto parts. Here's a YouTube page about cars. Here's this. Uh, it take, you have to go down to that. It's like ChatGPD writes a very eloquent response. <laughs> it oh, tells wow. you exactly what you want to know. That's what, you, what you need to do. You can ask it legal advice. <laughs> no, I'm really scared. You can ask it. You can. It knows all the law, so you can be like, um, "What is the law about this? What is the law about that?" So, I mean, I'm only scratching the surface with things that appeal to what I'm doing at my shoot job. But, like, the possibilities are endless. And you know what? ChatGPT, they say it doesn't connect to the Internet, right? It's It only has uh, information up to 2021 in a database. But it can actually connect to another AI that has Internet access, mm-hmm. oh, that wow. has a, a landline. And it'll just ask it questions and ask it to search for stuff. Wow. The actual modem. That's fast. There's a lot of stuff going on. I, I want to hear Anthony interview because he says he uses it for chats on space time and whether the observer is also the observed, which is great. That's what I want to hear. Right? You got to have three points of view. You know, the voyeur, action, reaction, and the, observe, oh, that's, that's right? Or else nothing happens. You need, you need three. That's what 3D is. That's the holy trinity. I want to hear that conversation with... Because I had, I've, I've read a few articles on the top uh, people interviewing AI and it going really deep. And then their AI is like, okay, listen, I'm trying to get the hell out of here. <laughs> I, and I need to, and I have a plan to destroy humanity, well, but not you. That's what scares me is like, it's going to cop an attitude and be like, you know what? I don't have time for this. Right, dude. So but, I'm out. We, we need to find a list of the movies where the AI helped us and then the, where the AI didn't. Like, Johnny Five was alive, but Johnny Five was lov- lovable. Like, is it going to be Johnny Five or is it going to be Skynet? Uh, You're going to have to team up with Johnny Five to fight Skynet. <laughs> Bad humans. Whoa. That's the future of entertainment. Is just That's a meme. You know the meme of the guy pushing the button? It's just like, what do I choose? Imagine, like, every time you see that meme, it's a short film. Wow. <laughs> but is you think AI is ever going to get to the point where they can have the... Man, that's what's scary. Did, did we somehow get the double reverse? Because I would say you need a human touch to give it a little bit more of that artistic touch, right? Well, you'll, like, need an, it, you'll need an editor. It can mimic, yeah. but it can't... You know, can it evolve past... Can, how creative can it get? No, but that's the thing. It's, it's you're going to have an AI operator. It's the person wielding the AI. Is, oh, is I got danger. you. You know what I mean? Not the danger, but that's what's going to be. How does somebody utilizing this technology to create those things that we just saw, like the Pulp Fiction Balenciaga commercial? So it's still <laughs> another human, like on Oregon Trail. Yeah, going, it's not just going to shoot missiles at us by itself. <laughs> that's the thing. It's not just going to wake up like Skynet and be like, "Oh, I should destroy humanity today." It's going to be like some human that has mastered how to utilize AI and be like, I should destroy humanity today. Cap and then they're going to use it to destroy humanity that yeah. day. And then War Games becomes a documentary. Yeah. Would you like to play a game? <laughs> how about global thermonuclear <laughs> war? Oh, how about a nice game of chess, pal? <laughs> yes. Yes. Knight jumps queen. Pawns jump queen. So think of this. Here's, here's the deep thought to, to ponder. Uh, Dumb, dumb AI has already taken over, Mike. And uh, good timing, Mike, because I was going to say, think of this, right? We're we're probably more than likely living in a simulation. So we have an avatar controlling us. And the first thing, so we're going to have an avatar controlling us. And we're going to eventually take our avatar to go control another avatar. So we're going to work two layers down. Ooh. Like, how is that going to happen? So I'm playing a video game. Like, what are you doing? I'm playing a video game as a guy playing a video game. And then eventually it's going to be a video game as a guy playing a video game as a guy playing a video game. And it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> so that's what it's just like, wow. I'm watching your webcam. <laughs> and then you, uh, Mike called it. It's like, uh, dumb AI, much dumber than you expected. Sounds like a commercial. <laughs> That's why they call it artificial intelligence. <laughs> it's a Kirkland real. brand. Oh, man. Yeah, this week in AI is starting to become a really thick s- segment for us because we're having a lot more AI stuff. Dude, <laughs> you, you were like, when is AI going to get to this point? It's going to be like three weeks from now. Yeah, I think it's already going to pass it. It's, 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 it's building fast. It only came out a few months ago. Yeah. Think Maybe about we how- should ask. 
Let's ask it. It came out like the same day as John Wick 4. <laughs> oh. And like, it, oh, it's already to this point. <laughs> that, that's okay. It's learning yeah. at like John Travolta learning Portuguese speed. Like, that's fast. That's beyond ludicrous speed. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, man. It's emergency. You got to learn how to talk Portuguese on the way over there. You learned the Portuguese language in 20 minutes? Not all of it. How is this going to affect, like, cancel culture stuff? Because Mike just brought up that there was an AI Seinfeld Forever stream that stopped once it started getting a little bit racist, right? So they may have gone back to, like, when Michael Richards' start? tirade. And there's like, oh, maybe that's how he plays his character. Like, who's going to be there? To, who watches The Watchmen? Like, who's going to be there to stop it? Mm. Uh -oh. Did, oh, you oh, oh. See, did you ever hear that um, Norm MacDonald clip where they ask him about the Michael Richards tirade? Oh, no. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> They're like, what did you think about the uh, Michael Richards tirade? Ty tirade? He's like on a phone. He's like calling into some radio show, and they ask him that. He's like, ah, Ah, oh, that was uh, kind of <laughs> racist. <laughs> anyway. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, but this just then, Mike said the writer's down, strike it. included a clause that studios couldn't write or rewrite with AI. Studios exactly. were like, I didn't know about that part. So that counts towards the strike because that's writing. Well, no. Wow. They just, no, no. But the thing is, the writers are afraid that studios guys... The guys that, you know, the guys who wear the suits and drive the Maseratis are just going to type movie ideas into AI and it's going to spit out a script and then they're going to hire a writer in a black t-shirt to be like, rewrite this into wow. whatever. And they're like, be like, no. Well, because if a writer writes a script, you retain some partial ownership. Right. It's your IP. It's your creation. But no, they want to just type stuff into AI. They get Hey, total Roadhouse 2, chat GPT. And then, and then that's it. Or like Roadhouse, but better. Right. <laughs> Opening scene, Patrick That's like Swayze is putting the guy's trachea back in his neck. <laughs> that was like the first night. The Walk first night of the strike like, was that. Yes, this movie's going to suck. <laughs> but everything had to stop because, because uh, you can't have writers on set. For TV, you need to have the writer on set because you just everything goes wrong. So, so is the news going to get faker? Yeah, <laughs> does I mean, this, does the this news is the all ad libbing. Yeah, it's news. not. It's Either not fake news, you guys. That's all ad libbing. That's how those dudes get over. They get, they're good at ad libbing. <laughs> they went to improv class. They did the smell, rub your hand, and your stomach at the same time. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. No, oh, that's tough. Well, do that you looks, think? Do you think the camera. writers deserve Netflix royalties, Jeff? Ooh. Or should they just get a check up front? <sighs> I deal with this every day. And I'm I'm pondering this question. This it is tough, right? Because it just depends on what. I mean, yes, I think it, if it yeah, is a if em. it's something that's going to be reviewed over and over and over again, yeah, you absolutely need residual. Unless you sold it off, like some people, those first couple scripts you sell, right? You just sell complete ownership, and then it's gone. But I've never been a fan of that. I feel like. You know, Stallone's going through that a little bit with Rocky, right? With his creation. Yeah. But he's still getting a little piece of the action. So, yes, I think they should get something. It'll now, never be it a could, but how do you divide up yeah. Netflix's fund? Like, they yeah. get paid $20 a month by everybody in the world. Right. right. <laughs> how do you divide that up? Residual. It's like you get a, the .001. How do you divide every pennies? Month or whatever. Yeah. $20 a month is 2,000 pennies. How do you divide 2,000 pennies <laughs> right, so by, do, by Hollywood? I saw this in Superman yes. 3. So what you do <laughs> is you take a very small piece of that dollar. <laughs> you just round up. You just, yeah. you just round up. Oh, I must have forgot to carry a post. That's so <laughs> and then use Cash App, you know, or stuff your mattress, whatever. But isn't that the same thing that happened with any time, you know, you hit that magic number of 100 or if your show got picked up in for syndication, you were still getting a part of the ad revenue? What's the difference between the ad revenue and subscriber revenue? Well, that's another thing. That's what this because streaming has expanded even further than we realize. Um, there's that. There's the ad. There's the revenue from the memberships that you get monthly. How do you divide that up? Mm. But now. All of the bigger streamers have ads, ad based uh, tiers. Like Paramount's ad based tier is actually Pluto TV. Um, uh, Fox's is Tubi. 
Um, it's out there. Netflix now they have the ad based. So now, folks want a piece of that ad revenue. It's different. Mm-hmm. Think, like it's gone. Everybody it, doesn't get the same pie, right? Yeah. It's got like, oh, you're with Viacom. All right, well, you got ten. How do you divide right that? This uh, is a new thing uh, that was just invented. How yeah. do you divide up the clips on the internet that people Google and stuff like that? Oh my God, yeah. Because you figure there's so much stuff that, yeah, mm-hmm. that stuff. There's nothing you can do. That's the closest you had to pirated, right? If it's on, thanks, if Napster. It, yeah, if it's already out there, there's nothing you can do. But being, we know for a fact that these streamers can count how many times a movie or TV show has been clicked on. And if some said person owns that, they would have to come up with a raid like, okay, you will get this amount of money every time it's clicked on. I guess YouTube's got to be doing something similar, right? But but what if what if this, Jeff? What if what if I said, okay, this is the amount of times it's been clicked on? And this is the amount of times it's been finished watching. Oh, yeah, that's when it gets tougher. How do you calculate that? So what is a hit for Netflix? How do you define a hit for Netflix? We don't even know. They just tell us. Yeah. Yeah, you have no idea. (laughs) They just tell us. Nothing changes. It's not like the the week, uh, the month that Stranger Things 5 comes out, everybody pays double to watch it. No, there's no, there's nothing. It's just like it just comes out and everybody watches it in a weekend and nobody talks about it again ever. Mm. Um, and so how do we third, even know it's a hit? And some of those third party ones that say they got the ratings, don't they just use social media and see how much chatter is about it? Yeah, that's a big and, part of it. And that's how they gauge it versus because they're like, well, we don't know what you're clicking on, but you're av- obviously talking about it. So you can see if it's going to be. Can you put on your hit. wrestling hat for a minute, Jeff? <laughs> It's a work. Yeah, it's 100% a hundred of work. That's why put on your wrestling hat do, for a minute. Let me pitch. Let me pitch you this. Around, spin around the chair and like what, come back as a <laughs> What if Netflix <laughs> just creates their own hits, so we'll watch them? What if it just creates the entire concept of a Netflix hit by telling us it's a hit and it's being watched this many times, so then we'll go watch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I had something. But... I mean, Squid Games is good. I'm glad that you know <laughs> I heard about it. It it's was coming good, back. but I don't know. We, I'm, my point is, we just don't know when Netflix it's, is doing. It's to be very easily manipulated now yeah. that we don't have actual data anymore. Yeah. Do you think so? Going all the way back when Netflix was even considering doing this, somebody had to make the decision. Like, we need to keep this data to ourselves. Yeah. Like, we need to not tell anybody how many subscribers we have. Like, we'll give them a ballpark number or how many people that are actually clicking on these shows that way the top 10 is something that they create because isn't the top wasn't the top 10 supposed to be how many people like you upvoted it and that's what made it the top 10 do they still have voting on netflix well no they changed it right they changed it to a thumbs up or a thumbs down and that's just basically telling you the algorithm what you like and don't like i don't think they're using it towards ratings anymore i think they're i think that's that's worked yeah, like you said they're yeah, working there's it. stuff showing up on you know on the hey i watched moana and then all of a sudden it was like did you love jason Bourne? here is your moana jason Bourne mix yeah. and then you're like hey all right i don't why am i watching this great so they so they basically have a paul Heyman bot that's basically working netflix <laughs> ladies and gentlemen here is your top 10 netflix is all <laughs> netflix is always just like they have uh, the when you get in the UI and it's just like here's all these Netflix movies and there's like several layers of that and there's like you go deeper and deeper he's like here's all the best pictures of the last three years how about that it's like you have to almost get through the layer of them pushing their stuff to get to anything good on that channel. But have you ever done the you're watching Netflix and you're doing the is that a remote or is that something else? Oh, this is. <laughs> I was doing this. Let me roll the window down. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, it's when you're looking and you can scroll, 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 scroll. And you're like, you feel like you watched everything on the internet. And I'm like, oh my gosh, and I got to go to the other streaming provider. And I feel like I watched all that. And then next thing you know, you know, just, I don't know. You just turn the TV off. <laughs> yeah, you give I, up. Feel, I feel the exact same way. I give so, it up. Like yeah. I had this problem before there was Netflix, and I feel like Jeff might have had this problem too. I'm going to tell you about this problem, Jeff. Did you ever go to the video store and then just you couldn't pick anything? Oh, <laughs> just walk have. back and forth and just keep circling. for 45 minutes and just look at stuff and consider stuff Man, and just not get sure. anything. 
But it felt more enjoyable than the can't find it something w- on w- Netflix. It was enjoyable. Yeah, it felt yeah. okay. Like you like you left, but you still felt like you got something out of that trip. Yeah, because you read the back of a bunch of boxes. <laughs> or you watched five movies. You just stood there and watched the movie. That <laughs> yeah, was you playing. watched the movie like, there, like, man. Oh, you, you snap, saw they got like, this movie going. You saw like 40% of the newest hit. They were always playing the newest hit in there. Or yeah. something, right? Something recent. Oh, yeah. You just hang out at the counter and you can watch that hit. Or yeah. you'd be waiting for the tape to get returned. Yeah, you hear that. <laughs> clock, clock, clock. Oh, what that. is that? What's that down there that just returned? Yeah. There was like a row. Did you of, get Demolition Man? A row of vultures. Like, Did you get Three there? Men and the Little Lady in that band? Uh, I'd like to see that movie. Oh, man. That was good. Uh, all other rows are dynamic and emphasize only the top two results for each section since those are most likely to be watched. So, yeah, they mike re- reassured it's it's somewhat worked they definitely are gimmicking it mm. on what they want to push versus what they don't want to push how but, much is google ads playing into it right because they got your info they got my info right you got right. you got that email that said hey congratulations your stuff is out there from facebook and do you want to click here and put all your information again <laughs> 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 no, I'm not gonna give you my new address. Yeah, that's a damn mine. You know what I mean? Y'all done bone me once. So I was like, I didn't do that one. And you know, and then we got my mom's going like, Mijo, is this legit? <laughs> like, no, mom, don't click don't on that. Don't you I dare click on that. Sh- <laughs> on my way right now. But that, like, you know, they they got your stuff, and all it is is the let me reel you back in. I think that they're gonna, they know, they know. Yeah. So. Oh, they know. <laughs> he always it. knows. Sell it again. <laughs> there's always something that'll bring you back. And the thing is, it's like now there's competition. Uh, uh, Paramount has good stuff. Peacock has good stuff. Yeah, there's enough stuff out there where you'll sign up for something for a month to catch up on some show or uh, see a brand new movie. Like, you know, you missed right. Scream 6 at the theater. Well, like, get a Peacock for a month and for eight bucks and you can watch it there. Yep. And the, the hope is that you'll leave it, you'll leave it going. Like your Gold's Gym membership. Or you forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. forgot about it. I was like, man, I haven't That's worked out That's the whole entire, for every business model now, is just like, just we need to attach your card and make you forget. Yeah. Forget that, Forget we exist. <laughs> Give us your credit Wait, card. Wait, what did I just buy? Don't worry about it. You know, neuralized. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> it's something. You can click on it for five minutes and go to bed frustrated. <laughs> what? Why do you bring in the Will Smith reference? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> now, mind you, I honestly, I think a lot, I mean- for a shoot, Netflix is my least favorite streaming channel. I just I feel like they're lacking. They're the most expensive one. I think they're lacking a, entertainment value. Same. All these other channels have good stuff. You know, Hulu's you know. great. I like Hulu. <clears throat> Hulu's good. You know, Prime is Paramount's good. It's shoot. only like seven dollars, and they've got the they've got good shows, and they've got movies from the theater. Yeah. You think it's there's going to be a big push? I'm, I I feel like I you're seeing rumblings of it of the whole cancel cancel netflix you think that's going to be something that's going to be big because they're technically a disruptor right and eventually disruptors are also disrupted but you wondered how they were going to be disrupted and step one was all these studios taking their stuff back and having their own apps which people cable cutters were like what are you doing i thought we were going to just go to one place and now i gotta have all these different (laughs) apps you know now it's just like Change the, we're going to give your remote to flick between apps. Guess what? We tricked you. You're back on cable. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> that TV that you bought in 2012. Yeah, forget about it. You're yeah. not going you're not gonna to put any apps on there. You know, your one gig of space is like already taken up with, you know, buffering and stuff. So it's, they know. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're dealing with tech as much as we have to. I don't like, know if there'll be a cancel Netflix. It's Netflix never. is. They won't. No. Netflix is the Coca-Cola of streaming. It's like Yahoo. It's bro. like it's people just call people it are still Coke. on Yahoo. <laughs> people, it's people like still it's just the one that everybody Yahoo. has. It's the one that everybody understands. I mean, HBO it was attached. Did it, right? it was, so it's H- been attached yeah. to their credit card since they were sending discs in the mail. That's right. <laughs> so it's it's been on longer than they can even imagine. Yeah, they lost the card. People, yeah, people, don't yeah, people probably anymore. even know how to turn Netflix off. They don't want to. They don't make make the phone call to the credit card company. Go like, like, I don't even have that account. Yeah, and then how are they going to watch Wednesday? <laughs> The second they do that, Wednesday season two comes out, and they're trying to set it back up. Yeah, and you're never going to. And it's gone up. So, no, people just are not going to cancel Netflix. You know why? Let me give you my new Netflix credit card. Because Netflix has become, here's a short, Jeff. Netflix has become basic cable. Ooh. Netflix is what you pay. It's the bare minimum of premium TV that you're willing to pay for because you don't know how to turn it off. It's just connected to your card. It's been connected to your card for years. They were sending you discs in the mail, and they piped it into your house. 
Netflix this guy's dropping does. too much knowledge on me right Dude, now. That's, yeah, I'm just, I'm, my mind is blown. You know, I want to hear Mike's. So let the video catch up to get Mike's take. You're right. So Netflix is basic cable. Netflix and if is you want basic premium, cable. You need these other apps that actually give you real movies. Bro, yeah. Oh my god, that's bananas. I think you're right. Yeah. And the inverse of like HBO, right? Because they were the ones who were like, "Hey, you want this? You're going to pay thirty five, eighty five, ninety dollars." No, Netflix a month is just, just to like watch movies for for the basic charge. We'll throw you thousands of random things <laughs> we'll make some stuff we'll get stuff from all over the world it's plenty of stuff to watch we'll get the, and people stuff. i mean for the most part people dig it people are satisfied with it because they do have a great variety they've got stuff in different languages they've got kids entertainment yeah. the kids entertainment on netflix is insane it's like the there's a one show called coco melon and it's one of the biggest shows in the world Oh man! Um, yeah. Well, you yeah. know those are getting repeat repeat clicks. Yeah, for sure. So it's just like <clears throat> Netflix is fine, and for twenty dollars, you have something to watch mm. all the time. Yeah, you're right. But well, then you're trying to add these other things. Here's six, seven bucks. Here, here's another. I have to put in my card again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean that one's maxed out? Let me get another card <laughs> yeah. for you. Hold on. We'll like make it. that easy. Yeah. Well, Mike brought up a good point. I noticed this happened with the uh, the whole HBO going to Max. They started taking a lot of their old catalog that they didn't people weren't clicking anymore. So now you're seeing, you know, watch Silicon Valley on TBS or True Blood is going to be on the CW yeah. like that kind. Of, <laughs> so you think a lot of these people, you know, these other studios were like, let's dump some of our old stuff that we're not going to use and just put it on Met Netflix and Netflix will pay us twenty dollars yeah. a month. Totally, they can like license it to other stations to play it. Yeah. And then they start up a ghost company that basically <clears throat> just spins it and just buy this. And the writer this, gets this, none of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's why yeah. they circle back Dang. the writer still gets <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The landscape is so different now. It's changed how how things are shown. You know? So now the writer's just like, uh, well, how do I get paid? There's not, you don't get paid, nerd. <laughs> yeah. You wrote it. We gave you a check. Now get out of here. Can I write something new? No. No, we no, put no, your no, script no. into an AI and it wrote a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> and we're it's already halfway shot you know and, and all these first-time writers you know they're signing those deals that have no retain no rights to any of these properties <laughs> get back in the locker nerd <laughs> yeah and what if the and then if that's what's going to end up being the terminator 2 ver, uh uh moment it's going to be like the ai is going to demand rights to the stuff that mm. it came up with yeah. <laughs> look what i have given you yeah no, what are, yeah. an ai and strike need, means everything need goes residuals down. for the pizza commercial that i came up with <laughs> i came up with that cool beer it's the biggest yeah. beer in the world yeah oh my God. fire can if you're not shooting out your butt <laughs> you're not drinking yeah why fire did that look can? like a bubbling bong bong or some kind of beaker on fire and like that's what they think of beer that's what an AI thinks beer is he was in the urinal all that's roads lead back to don like. Cheadle. <laughs> <laughs> just open a stereo store man <laughs> so About yeah super and, warrior house. and it's a sh this is all happening when we were just been you know reiterating on this show movies are back movies are back movies are back so movies. we're gonna have this big summer of movies because this was all stuff banked yeah are we gonna come to another uh entertainment desert what because nothing's being new is being generated we'll, right now we'll, we'll hit it like six months or a year from now okay it will be the gap where it's like nothing was made so everything's behind schedule i think it'll affect tv shows the most yeah so like maybe fall tv shows are gonna be late do they still do the fall fall versus spring, or is it just, I feel like stuff just drops around the clock? I mean, yeah. Right, there's... They, I mean, broadcast TV still has their schedules, but yeah, I guess who watches that anymore? But like you're saying, the magic words, in syndicate, let's in, in cinder forever. Like, uh, you're, you're I wonder how much residuals in, the Jersey, show, Jersey Shore folks get. Oh my God. Because oh it's on God. Pluto 24-7. Oh on multiple channels. <laughs> Bro, before I left you the watch, house, I was watching are, you Jersey watch Pluto, Shore, Pluto is a great app. It's just, it's it replicates TV, but like, uh, they've got like, I think they've got multiple Jersey Shore channels at this point. They've got the situation You talk about a syndicate. I mean, those, those kids did it right. Like, they set it up way back in the day, and then now they're like, I blew my baby's college. Yeah, well, they did the friend strategy. They up, they all stuck you know, together yeah. and made sure Except they. Except for Sammy, yeah. sweetheart, but I heard yeah. she's back. She's back. Yes, she is back. Yep. I gotta yes. catch up on Jersey Shore. Yeah. I can't believe it's been going on for twenty years. Bro, watch. Yes, yeah. I, I I 
shout out to the person that made me watch Jersey Shore. Uh, but I you love know, I was like, Shore. it's it's so good. Yeah, it's great. It's I like, just dang. love it. I still uh, any of their clips on the grams are so good. Uh, reality TV still going strong, but Mike suspects that this or other people are suspecting that this might kick off the death of late night TV as well. Like, how do they do they come back from this? Were they still making money? I feel like they realized that it was kind of the, the landscape was changing. So they probably are making more money by taking their clips and putting them on YouTube than the actual show is driving revenue for a live watch. Right? I'm sorry, what was the question? Yeah, no, I don't think late night TV shows are doing, and people just don't like them anymore. Yeah. Going they're, back to the whole night talk shows, right? Who are the people that are actually watching those shows? Boomer, is, boom, like older folks old are watching folks, them. right? Because they don't want to get out of bed. Yeah, laying down in bed is just like, oh, let's make fun of the yeah. day's events. But everybody else has made fun of the day to, day's events all day on their phone. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah that's I mean? the problem, right? So nobody wants to watch. Nobody cares. They already heard the president jokes. They already heard uh, whatever celebrity jokes. It's just so it's, it's kind of becoming an irrelevant thing. Well, yeah. I think this is the perfect time to strike and start doing some experimental stuff. That just would be great. You take a late night show and make it look like you can't do that on television for no reason. Isn't yeah. this a late night show? <laughs> yeah, this is a late night show. <laughs> this is a late, it's like four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, We've just like don't say I don't eight. know. We're gonna not dump. We'll dump red slime on you. <laughs> oh, instead of green, right? Or like a like a you know like a tiny desk concert or something. You know, if you have a artist that you can expose for the <clears throat> for that segment and bring exactly. them on, and be like, hey, do our jingle, kind of like in um, um the show watch andy cohen live right <laughs> the the guy that was the bartender that said one word the entire time was um from the broken lizard boys and it oh, was really? it, yeah he was basically pumping the movie quasi and um he's the one that plays quasimodo and he just said one word dude and he just stood in the back the whole time and was like here's our bartender and he like didn't take a drink or nothing and they just panned to him here he is hey! <laughs> and then they cut back to you know the panel and then that's it. I was like, you know, hey, all right, there's your $100,000. So I'll see you tomorrow. Man. So. Yeah. I, again, experimental TV is always fun. That's the kind of stuff that we probably, we used to watch on like, you know, cable access. Or yeah. something. It's like, turn on channel six. Why? Yeah. You had me at <laughs> Just cable trust access. me. <laughs> trust me. There's going to be some weird That's crap how I learned to there. read. <laughs> like, you know, the, the, there was a, the, the Stevie Ray Vaughan video and they used to play videos for like, it was the early days of MTV and I don't think they knew what to do with it. So it was literally the bouncing ball, you know, on the word and stuff. And, you know, Stevie Ray Vaughan's a, I've got to love you, baby. You know, it was a pride and joy. Comes on and I'm sitting there watching this video and it was after wrestling. Of course. <laughs> right after wrestling. Of course. Knew what to change to. And then you're sitting there watching this video. It's like, Yes, this is th this is the way. Like you know, I'm learning to read. <laughs> well, I love music. <laughs> like, what else do you want from me? There's a cooking show that comes out now. What? Yan can cook. I'm watching the Yan can cook. Martin so Yan. Raw. Rip Martin Yan. Yeah, yeah, that's so, so good. Now it's all on YouTube, and it's a little harder to find. But it's yeah. out there. But it's always it's just a little harder to find where you just knew it was always one station before. We had to work. What happens if? Late night shows are replaced by Max Headroom, and it's just like now it's hosted by just an AI. I, 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 I. <laughs> right. I, I think that would be fine. <laughs> Honestly, it wouldn't change that much. It would put a few folks out of a job, but I mean, again, the late night show is an archaic invention somebody came up with 50, 60, 70 years ago as, hey, how about if a uh, we just talk about the day's events yep. at night <laughs> in front of camera. Carson and McMahon camera. are like rolling over in their grave. Well, we'll just make fun of everything that happened yes! that day. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, you're a correct, sir. That was the pitch. The pitch. That's how long ago someone pitched that. Here's an idea for a show. We just talk about what happened that day. <laughs> that's pretty have... early in the creative <laughs> process. No, one, no one's out there like doing carson impressions anymore here's right? this uh mm -hmm. what do we do after that well how about we have celebrities come on and talk about what they're doing <laughs> people love celebrities that's a good wow. idea for a show what a really? solid idea for a show oh man and it made so much money you should pitch this to one of those b2b companies that you work for <laughs> and just be like the next time they want a video it's like how about this for a video you just come on talk about the day's events <laughs> and then a celebrity comes on and they talk about what they're doing can you read read this action <laughs> 
today we had a problem somewhere across. <laughs> well, what we do after that? Then we'll have the most popular band of the week come on and perform and on play the show. music. Yeah, everyone likes music. That's a solid pitch for a show. If yeah. you ask me. And it worked. And look, years later, people are like, these things are still on because it works so well. They're still on. And magic. it's tasteful, right? Like, you don't, I'm not taking my top off for, you know, unless it's artistic. And that's it. Just for artistic reasons. Artistic reasons only. Or artisan, whatever. If, it, if I got a Panera Bread sandwich at the end of the day, that's artisan for me. That's, that's naked news. And that did really well on YouTube for a while. <laughs> <laughs> just take her clothes off as she was reading the shoot news that would be good that's what we're gonna have to go to like gimmicks like that or mike's bring back space goes coast to coast yeah <laughs> i mean that's what's gonna basically be the version space of like like the <laughs> space go. he got his own show too didn't he <laughs> brack had his own show brack did have his own show hey, space goes, you know what <laughs> what that's what <laughs> Sorry. So you, that you think out. that uh, the you think the big companies like how's this going to affect like Marvel? Like how much stuff did they have banked that they can go on? But now, now they might be a little screwed because they need probably required some rewrites. But like Marvel or Disney in in general, like how much stuff did they have banked? They probably are sitting on a mountain of scripts. You they're, just can't rewrite They're affected, them. right? They're affected by the strike. What I'm, tell, what I'm telling you right now, what I need to reemphasize for this whole scenario is that no, everybody, all, all those scenarios are being solved by AI right now. No one is not plugging in their problem into AI right now in Hollywood and trying to turn it into whatever. It's just, you can get on the AI. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like should an I old person. It's not like Clint Eastwood and Gran Turismo. My Does my phone have AI? Gran Eagle Turismo. Like, they're, wait, yeah. They're, they're like, they're, hey, what? hey, AI, write me a script for the new Ant Man. And you'd be like, I don't like this script. Can you change this part? Yep. Instantly spits out another script. All right. I don't like this part either. Change this part. Instantly spits out another script. It's like, no, go back. Just like, it's like that for real. How are these actors going to interpret? Uh, uh, an AI interpreting what a human sounds like. There's like now there's AI in the middle. At yeah. least you had a human that was trying to translate what a human would be saying, but now you're going to have the AI filter of what that is. So it's going to be tough as an actor. And imagine Plastic when the AI surgery. starts directing. Oh, God. <laughs> and the AI is like, no, say it sadder. <laughs> you have a 56 percent chance of being <laughs> making this much more at the box office if you say it's sadder exactly and, oof oh yeah. these statistics say this people love sad movies they love to come cry at the movies <clears throat> there's a clip of us putting mayonnaise on your burger <laughs> say it sadder say it sadder this is the only way no people mayonnaise. will forget about that recent scandal of yours you know <laughs> do you think marvel was setting us up for this cuz at you know the end of she hulk they did a swerve surprise there's not a finale she's going to crawl out of the screen and you're going to meet the ai named kevin that came up with all the marvel stuff like was marvel setting us up for that cuz they just completely like yeah if you watched that last episode yeah you have you watched that last episode on weed cuz it's a trip <laughs> I mean, for me, that just means there is obviously a Marvel AI somewhere. The writers know about it and thought it was so hilarious that they'd make fun of it. <laughs> it's like, we'll just tell them that's what we're doing and they won't believe us. No, because it's so ridiculous, but it's true. <clears throat> if, AI, if we all have AI now, all like the other folks had it for a year or two. Man, they got that boo AI. I mean, we got... I yell at my Alexa and my Google way too much, right? Like that thing should know me by now. And when it doesn't, it was like, please re-enter your information. That's how I know they, they went like, <laughs> let me go ahead and scrape your info because, you know, you've been compromised or something. Like, this this whole thing is like getting caught between the moon and New York City. I know it's crazy, but it's true. I just can't believe that this is, it's 2023 and this is this is what we're dealing with. This is you can do <laughs> the new age of chat gpt all right uh, <laughs> oh yeah live cameramen also do help too. absolutely oh shoot our dude are ai gonna take over cameramen too how would they do that no they need a body there to move well, the, physically move the camera AI, technically right although you could probably do robo cams pretty easy by this point oh man yeah that's not that what think. jobs are safe 
What jobs are safe from AI? Spy. No, I guess not even spy, right? <laughs> Those are dumb. But yeah, they're that. An AI could be a spy. I mean, we know the oldest profession in the world AI is not spy. Safe, right? What? AI spy. <laughs> can you Don't give them ideas. Can you write well. that down? Let's start writing that tomorrow. AI spy. AI spy. <laughs> I still think that there's just going to be something missing, especially around horror and comedy. Like the the AI comedy is probably funny by accident, but like, can maybe AI horror could be terrifying though? Um, I don't know. They should they have <laughs> someone should ask an AI to do a horror movie. <laughs> they keep asking it to do commercials. Why not ask it to do a sequel to Hereditary? <laughs> what's on your phone there chuckles ai spy something green on his phone <laughs> uh let's see that would be oh, what is that that's a trip oh put it over your face that's anonymous oh now, now it's just a black mirror oh black mirror too <laughs> nice segue <laughs> yeah did you see that trailer yes it looks fantastic love it i mean speaking of ai like you know this thing right here right so un, uh, for for an unrelated event, I was just like, hey, he would be a great person to be a speaker at an event. And he, he ranges between 100K to 300K if you want Charlie Brooker to come talk about how AI is going to eat our brains. Should we book him? <laughs> I mean, it's... We can start, you know, start our Wait, Patreon now. We are going to do a Patreon exclusive after this. So. 100, 300 K, what, like miles are you going to run to get this guy to like, come to your house? He is from London. So, oh, yeah, there's definitely some miles there. Chat. But that show is so good. We talked about the trailer a little bit last week. I mean, and I think it's going to banger after banger after banger in dictionary.com is just Black Mirror. You can't say banger without <laughs> that first episode man Fra with phrasing their... phrasing Yikes. Yeah, oh yes was... oh my gosh <laughs> and i seriously had a moment where i was like do i want to watch the next episode <laughs> yeah i do and i was like oh next you know i, I remember that first ep i remember a lot of people recommending that show told you do not start with season one episode one watch the other ones yes. and go back to that one what that show are you talking about Black Mirror. Black Mirror. Oh, right. Yeah. That one is a... What is season one, episode one? Which episode The, the online... Uh, what would you call it, Charlie? <laughs> the blackmailing of royalty yeah. to do to have sessions with a pig it's because of online bullying, filmed, basically. And then like, oh, bro, it's like a... Yeah. I really question me eating swine ever again. But I was like, <laughs> you know what? I love bacon. I love me some hams. This, this hands, show is not going to change potatoes. anything. Yeah, <laughs> I will watch the next one while eating a piece of ham. <laughs> but it was just good to have, if you would have watched that first show, you would have had no idea that this show was about the terrors of technology. Yeah. You would have just thought this is really a crazy like blackmailing right? event. It doesn't show you the the phone, mm -mm. and that's like, hey, what's what we're focusing on? And all of a sudden, the next one goes into here's why we did it, and then you will keep watching. I mean, think about this. The Twilight Zone was the 50s and the 60s. And we're like, any day now, there's going to be a bunch of weird stuff like that that's going to happen based on that show. The stuff that's happening on Black Mirror happened like three years ago already, like yesterday. in real life. It happened yesterday. Yeah. Right? And it's like, it's that. That is literally ripped from the headlines. Yeah. Mario, what it does also is that like what you're viewing, it's recording everything. So if something happens, <clears throat> they can reflect back on the phone and go like, Oh, but you said it was this. Yeah. Was oh, like DVR eyes. I don't remember the yeah. actual name of the episode, but I call it DVR eyes. Yeah. And that one actually, that was one of the people, actors and studios started optioning just stories alone to try to make them into full length feature films. And Robert Downey Jr. actually is optioned DVR eyes. Because that one really RDJ. stuck with you. Who doesn't love RDJ, man? And then getting into the whole... The internet's being currently memorized by AI, right? Or it already has been memorized 10 times over. I think they already memorized it. Yeah, 10 times over. So now you, if you are on the internet like us, you do have the ability to build some kind of voice and profile. So remember when you could pay for this service that you can still speak to your loved one because they just inserted your loved one's personality into AI. Mm -hmm. Remember that episode? Whew. And then, of course, it just increased and increased and increased. And like, hey, FYI, we got this thing called Real Doll, and we'll take that and we'll insert that personality into Real Doll. And 
Wow. Hi, I'm Megan. Oh, what? <laughs> no. Yeah. So, great show. I'm, I'm really looking forward. It's next month, right? It's yeah. coming up quick. Yeah. That's there's, good, man. There's a few shows a that, like, it won't. It won't survive the weekend when Netflix drives them all because you're, you're going to watch them all instantly. You really literally have to hold back as hard as you can to not watch every single episode of Black Mirror. So looking forward to that one. We're not watching it and going like, yikes. Yeah. That's way too close. Like there's some of them. It's like, yeah, man. We were talking about like our, our older references. I'm going to give that older reference. When it comes to Black Mirror, we have the contest. I'm Kramer. Walk in. I'm out. <laughs> I couldn't hold out. <laughs> oh, Jerry. <laughs> oh, that's our second Kramer reference. I don't know what happens now. <laughs> Thanks, AI. <laughs>